Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Cry of Fear. I, I'm trying to remember what happened when last we left off. Uh, all right, we climbed the uh, we climbed the shoddy scaffolding. Sorry, it's been a couple of days. I've been mostly working on the uh, gaming phobias video for the past few days, which uh, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I worked really hard on it. Um, I think I came out of this alleyway, and then I came over to here and I saved at this save point, right? So I'm looking for a fuse to get into the subway. I remember now. So let's make our way down. Oh, this, it looks like I can get onto this bus. That's pretty cool. Is there anything useful on here? A Glock magazine? Oh no, VP70 magazine. And a Glock magazine, okay. So, all right, so somebody suggested that, okay, so we still have the pistol bug. Uh, somebody suggested in the comments, um, I will throw your name up on the screen because after, after I finish editing this video, I'm gonna go check and see who it was. Somebody said to drop the syringe Drop. Okay. And now they're both on the ground there. And now we can drop the pistol. Pick up the pistol. And that's now there. And now we can equip it in slot three. Yes, it worked. Okay, thank you, whoever you are. I'll throw your name up on the screen again. And now we can pick up the medical syringe. Okay, and now that's down there where we don't need to hotkey it. Okay, yes, thank you. You're a lifesaver. And while we're at it, let's also reload the VP-70, because I think we had no ammo for that last time. A little bit of a lag spike right there when I went to reload it. It's the same thing that was happening in the shotgun in uh, a couple of parts ago. Uh, from when I used it a little bit ago, the VP-70, it didn't really seem that good. It seemed like I pretty much spent an entire magazine wasting two low-health enemies, but that looks like somewhere where I have to enter. Automagic doors! I like it. This is service. This is service. And we had those enemies that drop uh, Glock rounds, so we're going to have plenty of that for the time being. And I pressed the right buttons. Things are looking up for old me. More VP-70 rounds. It probably is going to want me to be using that fairly shortly. Alright, doors won't budge, but I have a feeling this will. This is really spooky for some reason. I don't know why. It's like being in an empty mall, like, all alone. Well, I guess it is a mall. Of some kind. I actually, so years ago, I was with my cousin, and we went to uh, some mall late at night. There was nobody there. I don't think we were really supposed to be there, but the doors were unlocked. And we were walking around in there. Ooh, I just found myself another hoodie. Unlocked costume, AOM hoodie. I assume that's going to mean Afraid of Monsters hoodie. But anyway, we were walking around this mall... And we just hear, like, a scream in the distance, like, somewhere in the mall. And we never were able to figure out where it was coming from. It was really spooky, and this is reminding me of that. That's why I brought it up. I'm kind of afraid to look around, because... There's a lot of doors here, and I know most of them are going to be locked, but some of them aren't going to be, and I'm afraid of not seeing everything. It's really not encouraging to me that the first door I opened had... I need a screwdriver to open this. Okay, so I can open that. <gasps> that looks like a fuse box. I bet there's a fuse in there. So if I can find... If I can find a screwdriver, I can open that up, get the fuse, go back, open up the subway system, find the crown, save the town, and Mr. Krabs. This music is so loud. Oh, is this a school? Yeah, this looks like some kind of school. Odd placement, and it was just, like, off of a main street. That was an oddly bassy door-closing sound effect. Okay, I don't need the light right now. So I'll just switch to my gun. Screwdriver! But my inventory is full. What do I do? What do I do? I really like the rifle, but I don't think I have any ammo for it. Oh, well, I have some ammo for it. Tell you what, though. Weapons seem to be persistent. If I leave this somewhere, I'll be able to come back and get it later. So what I'll do is I'll leave it someplace really conspicuous uh, so that I'll always know where to come back and get it. So I'll drop that. And then I'll run over and get the screwdriver. I can't just ditch the screwdriver when I'm done and then come back and get the rifle because I have a feeling I'm going to have to take up an, inv uh, an inventory slot with the fuse. So grab that. Come out here. 
I really like this soundtrack, but I have a feeling it sh it's kind of annoying how it's looping like this. I'm going to continue searching the place for a little bit. Okay, these doors both lead to the same room, as I probably could have tell as I probably could have told you if I had simply looked at my screen. There's an exit this way, which I have a feeling I'm going to have to make a dash for. Yeah, this looks like a dashy kind of hall. It's also giving me One Late Night vibes. Door won't budge. Okay. If you don't know what One Late Night is, it's a horror game that takes place in an office building, and I don't think I ever really saw it through the, to the end. I remember years, years, and years ago, I watched Markiplier play it, because I was, I, I was watching him when he had, like, only like a couple thousand subs. I got in early on Markiplier, and he played the demo for One Late Night, and it looked really, really good, and then the game came out, and it was kind of a laggy mess. I need a screwdriver to open this. Have I got just the thing for you? And now I just know that the lights are all going to go out as soon as I pull this fuse, so I'm going to be ready. That's what I thought. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <sighs> okay, I was gonna record... I was thinking about recording experimentally with a face cam for this part. Oh my god! Okay, I was thinking about recording experimentally with a face cam for this part, and I set it up and I put a light on and it was way too bright. I didn't really have a good lighting solution and I thought, whatever. So I didn't do it, and now I wish I had. It's not going to be much better when I come out here, is it? I absolutely hate this enemy type. Now I gotta lose my light so I can... Okay. I can still see a little bit without a light. Ugh. One, two, three, four. Four body shots to kill you. Jesus Christ. Not enjoying this one bit. Where's the rest? Yep, you in the corner. Pumped up kicks intensifies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Really, really wish I had gone for that face cam right about now. Can I still go out the same way I came in? I can. Oh, but now the door is Key. Oh, I bet that's going to open the back door, but I need to get rid of something else now. I'm not liking this. I can't get rid of... Okay. I can't just get rid of the... Nightstick, because I may need it. I No matter what, I can never be without a melee weapon, so I just got to drop the VP-70. I'll be back for it later. If I can. Classroom key? Wait, classroom key? Which classroom does this unlock? Ugh. Ugh. It never gets easier. Door is locked. Okay. Is that for this? No, it's not. Okay. There's a different classroom then that I have to open. Oh, the soundtrack. I was going to comment... Okay, I'll talk about this when this is over. Why are neither of you dead? I dumped a lot of ammo just there. Are you still chasing me? Yeah, you are. Don't like that. Don't like those shapes just on the edge of the darkness. Okay, you both only had one hit left each. God, this game induces such panic. Over and over again, repeatedly. I, I have something to say, but I'll wait until I'm out of this, because I'm not going to get a chance to fully talk about it right now. I just saw you glitch through the door frame. Don't think I don't see you cheating. Door is locked. Okay, can I use this here? Yes, okay. What's gonna be in here? That looks like something on the wall over there. Break glass for a key. Bang. Oh, I guess I need the... the nightstick. That's not the nightstick. It says break glass for a key. Oh, I just had to press E on it. Well, that was a waste of a bullet or two. Can I get back here? No, it doesn't look like I can. God, that music! Door won't budge. Door won't budge. 
key for the fire exit doors, so that's... Why won't it budge? Maybe I have to use it on the other one? This music is going to make my spine snap in half from the tension. Even though there's there doesn't seem to be any enemies left. Although, it could spawn new ones at any time. Remember, earlier in the mines, it did spawn that guy behind... I don't like that sudden stop. Don't like it at all. Use key. Door is unlocked. I gotta go get... I gotta go back and get my baton. Yeah, it must have despawned or glitched or something. I'll probably have done an edit right there, but I just spent, like, another... 45 seconds or so looking for this nightstick. I can't find it. I'm just gonna go. In the meantime, I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity, go back to the front, grab the VP-70. Because I'm gonna need all the ammo and firepower that I can get in the absence of any kind of real weapon, or any kind of melee weapon. I could have sworn I just saw, like, a black figure standing behind the counter. I'm gonna put that to a lighting glitch and move on and never question it again. Okay, so we can breathe now. Okay. Oh, the soundtrack's gone kind of jazzy on me, as has the atmosphere. So, I was going to comment on how horror games, even though I've been very tense this entire time, I thought I had reached what I refer to as the Ash Threshold, right? The Ash Threshold referring to Ash Williams, or I think it was Ash Williams, from, uh, from the Evil Dead series. You start out a horror game really, really tense, right? But eventually, you'll kind of build up a tolerance until you become sort of... You eventually reach a point where you're like, alright, who wants them? You build up a tolerance where a game isn't scary anymore and you feel like you can take on the world. But then, this game, that hasn't really happened. I was thinking that it had, but it just hasn't, because that was such... That's the most panicked I've been yet in this entire game, even more so than, like, the chainsaw guy chasing me. That scared the absolute bejesus out of me, and I wish I had been going with the face cam. But enough repeating myself. I'm just gonna head back the way I came. I have the fuse now, which means I'll be able to get into the subway. It seems like I'm just backtracking. I can jump down now. Actually, wait. I, whatever. I'm a little bit confused about how I got back here, but whatever. Waiting for more enemies to appear on my return route. No one? Are we having a little bit of restraint? Are we having a little bit of time to decompress? That's alright, I could use the decompression. Can I open this door now? No. Alright, I think I've calmed down a little bit. But I'm gonna get a little less calm in a big hurry. Because if I remember correctly, I'm heading back to where the chainsaw guy last chased me. Yep, I'm gonna have to open this. I should have known that there was a reason. That doesn't sound like his regular scream. The soundtrack is really not appropriate at this moment. That doesn't sound like his regular scream. I'm gonna assume that's like a random sound meant to make me afraid to open the gate. But I'll be ready to run just in case. I don't hear him. And the jazzy soundtrack is still going, which means I'm probably okay. Uh, the ambient drone of dread is back, though. Ah! Shh, shh, shh. That was such a non-enemy, but I was so tense waiting for that friggin' chainsaw guy. Oh, and he's gone and boarded up the door. I still have the nightstick in my inventory. What happened? Didn't I drop the nightstick? 
I could have sworn I had dropped the nightstick. What? Okay, I'm just not going to question it. I'm just not going to question it. Because this means I don't have to go back to the school. I'm going to save again. This time in the same spot. That's... Guys, that's that's the power of tension. Right there. That that weak sauce enemy just got me so good. There was nothing scary about that enemy. I've encountered them a bunch of times before. But just by virtue of me going through that winding corridor anticipating an unkillable enemy that can murderize me in just one hit that had given me such a panic attack before this game is a masterpiece maybe not in terms of gameplay but in terms of atmosphere at the very least okay let's put that in fuse is placed and now I can enter the subway and enter the next phase of my eternal nightmare Reach Hanson Square through Saxon Avenue. None of these street names mean anything to me. Which way do I have to go? Okay, so I can go through there. That's a very, very loud sound effect. My headphones are really, really loud right now. Can I go through there? The doors are broken. Okay, probably for the best. I like things linear in my horror games. It means I'm not missing something that I'm going to need. Let's save again. More VP70 rounds, so I'm glad I picked that up. Save again. You guys, for the most part, said that you like the longer parts, so hello. You guys, for the most part, said that you like the longer parts, so I'm going to be making this at least an hour. Uh, what's our record time so far? 19 minutes? What was that? Was I supposed to see something around that corner? Hang on, wait. Let me... Can I load from here? Doesn't look like I... Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Load game. Uh, Saxon Avenue Subway was my most recent one. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm not going to do this a lot. I just... Where are you? Bang, 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 bang. Okay, I kind of thought I was maybe supposed to see something around that corner because I heard, like, that metal dragging sound effect. Was there nothing I was supposed to see? Okay. Because I didn't hear the sound effect again, either. I hear something squishy, though. There it is again. There's that sound again. And I hear something really squinchy. It wasn't you. Stop trying to hog the spotlight. You were scary in the apartments, but I'm not too afraid of you now. Can I get through here? The door is locked with an electric lock, so presumably I have to find something for that? Maybe not. Hang on, wait. No entry. Breaking the law. I'm breaking the law. Oh, you're the squinchy. You're the big ol' squincher. And that subway car looks like it's powered on. Do I maybe have to start it up and take it for a ride? There's that sound again. Stop that. Okay, so I just went down onto the platform and up, but what's the point of that? Presumably I'm going to be able to open these doors and that's how I'm going to get down to the car. I have a feeling this is going to end with me taking a subway ride. The game started with me on the train. Oh, this is a dark and dingy hallway. And I only have a few bullets left, which means that there are going to be jump scares. Nope, nope, nope. You're not making me shoot myself. Nope, 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 That bullet's for you, sister. Oh, I guess it's not. All right, time to commit a crime. Uh, are you? Okay. Uh, miss. Are you? <laughs> okay. That works for me. That was an anti-climax. All right, let's reload, pick up this other Glock mag. Let's switch to the VP-70. Let's add a little bit of variety in our lives. 
It looks like I'm holding it two-handed, so I don't think I'll be able to use a light with it. Another syringe, although I'm not really needing it yet. I haven't been taking very much damage. What is it with that sound? Okay, another electronically locked door. Maybe... The, I think that's going to be the one... If my sense of direction is correct, I think that's the one that I passed on the way over here. There's another one of you. Oh, that just obliterated you in one hit. I wonder if this maybe does the same damage as the Glock. It's just burst by... Ah! I'm so jumpy. I'm so startled. Ooh, a control room. Stop with the sound effects. Okay, a control room. So presumably, I can flick this here switch, and that'll open the electronic doors. And there were a lot of those, so I'm going to have to go and have a look-see around. Okay, so that opened the one probably on the other side of the platform. I'm anticipating that people are going to be trying to kill me when I exit. How right am I about that? Nope, that's the same door. Bring them on. Is there another one? No, it was a blood stain. Okay. I want to backtrack a little bit because I have a feeling behind that other door there will be some other stuff for me to get. Now... It locked again? Did I do something wrong or... Well, no, because that one is still open. Alright, let's just check first. Can I go through here? No. I can go back through that other one, so it's just that first one that locked again. But why? We are at jump scare alert 5, guys. We gotta be ready. Something's gonna be waiting for me in that room. Something's gonna be waiting. There's that sound again. All right, which one of you was it? Okay. Do I have to maybe make a mad dash back? Maybe I have to be fast? I can't really sprint that far that fast. What was the point of that? Okay, make it around here. Enter. Okay, what was the what was the point of that? I was really expecting a jump scare there. And what is that on the top left? What does that little icon on the top left mean? Okay, well that's locked now, so there's no going back. Does it mean low battery warning? That's not good. Have I been frivolous in my use of the flashlight? Can I find more batteries? Ah! Okay. Yeah, I'm really starting to wonder if that's like a story thing or if I have been too frivolous in my use of the flashlight. All right, so one of these is probably gonna open this door. And then that's going to get the train to move a little bit forward, and then I can probably get down onto it. Or is it just going to take that thing out, and now I have to walk along the tracks? Oh, it has faces. Well, it had faces. I kind of tended to that. If I'm talking... <laughs> okay, I guess it still has faces. They're kind of more hilarious than anything. They actually kind of remind me of LSD Dream Emulator. A little bit? Maybe I'll play that on this channel. Okay, I can still hear mean things. Oh, ah! Uh, you're right there. Ow! That actually does a lot of damage. Beat him! Beat him! Oh, wow, you're weird looking. And you have a melee attack. Ah, oh god, there's another one. Uh, syringe up. 
I have two of these left. Okay. VP70 time. It's a VP70 time. Are you not dead? Okay, well, you're dead now. Maybe the fact that I'm getting so much more scared has something to do with the fact that my, my I have my headphones a lot louder this time. So again, sorry if I'm talking louder than usual or if it's blowing out the mic. I can't actually see the levels as I'm recording because I'm recording to a field recorder. It's gone silent. It's gone silent. It's giving me flares. Okay, that's why it had it go so... That's why it had my battery go down. It's giving me flares. Save up. I'm not liking the silence or the strong implication that we're going to be going into some place very, very dark. Okay, picked up a flare. Picked up another flare. I should actually maybe assign a quick slot to these things in the same slot as my phone. Yep, I'm gonna need this. Uh, let's assign this to quick slot two. Oh, this is just great. This is just fantastic. This is my favorite. Okay, a ladder. Yes, ladder. I'll need to drop the flare before I can climb. Okay, drop you. Right, right clicking. I'm just gonna close my eyes. I don't know what's at the top, but I'm close my eyes for it. Oh, it's just a subway tunnel. Okay, and there's the subway car. Are you my subway car friend from before that destroyed that horrific Cronenberg monstrosity? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I can put the flare away for now. I don't want to act accidentally activate that prematurely. And it looks like there's going to be trains coming my way. Otherwise, why would there be these little divots, right? I've played video games before. I'm onto your game. Okay, there's a ladder going up. Are you really not going to do it? I can hear the toot toot of a train horn. I'm not walking down there. Screw that. Why would I do that? Literally, why would I do that? Did they literally... Bravo if they actually put that divot there just to make me anticipate something that wasn't going to happen. Okay, looks like we're... Don't... Nope, 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 nope. Times like this, I really wish I was going for the face cam. Alright, let's pop another flare. I have two more after this. Maybe I should have the VP70, but I don't think I can dual wield that. This is so terrifying. All right, let's drop that and climb, 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 climb. I'm surprised. I thought I was going to be getting on a train to deliver me to some other location. I will say that none of this is familiar to me. Uh, I mean, like I said, hang on, I got to pause for a second. Um, I did say that I had played this game years ago, like way back when it first came to Steam. Uh, and I was vaguely recognizing certain things. But we've left that point. I haven't recognized anything in a long time, so I'm definitely past whatever I got to back then. Oops, I just accidentally opened up the console. Alright, pop another flare. I don't have much more after this. Let's get through here. I can probably climb through here. What's this? Unlocked page, how to un book page, how to unlock secret items. Well, I don't know what that's about. And another flare. I don't know how long these are going to last. Can't help but notice I haven't saved in a little while. So that's all kinds of ungood.
another flare. It's giving me flares, but it's not giving me directions to actually go. Oh, it looks like I can get out that way. Ow. Oh, that didn't hurt me. I just, uh, just made me do a little hopperino. Okay, I can crawl in through that vent there, so I am going the right way. Picked up a Glock magazine. There's a lot of sounds. All kinds of sounds. Just a complete onomatopoeia of sounds. And I don't like any of them. Let's drop a flare down there. Oh! Okie doke, I see how it is. Let's pop another flare. We're doing platforming. We're doing some hardcore, old-school, gold source platforming. Everyone's favorite part of the original Half-Life. I don't know about you, but in real life, I would not attempt this while holding a gun and a flare. Yep. Another flare. It's being pretty generous, which means that presumably they're going to run out at some point, but I've yet to have one actually reach its limit. Oh! Shh! 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 Okay, what I was just doing cannot have been good for the microphone. I apologize to all of you fine folks. Had a little bit of a spasm, but I'm okay now. Okay, so you guys can go down with three bullets that are well-aimed. Sorry, folks, we resume with your regularly scheduled programming. No! Ow, 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 come on, come on, come on, this is... No, let me hit you. Let me hit you. This is not the time to be screwing up with the... Okay, now it's not the time to be screwing up with the hotkeys. Alright, you guys got me the first time. I'll give you that. You're a really scary model. I'll give you that. But the time has come to progress. And I feel like I can do that now, now that I've seen you. Well, I can't see you now because you just despawned. Just heard a door open somewhere. If it's the chainsaw guy, I swear to God, if it's the chainsaw guy... Nope, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! That sounded like it was actually a thing. I'm going to turn my headset volume down just a little bit because that flare is actually getting really grating. Choices in direction. Oh, somebody ate the kitty from the intro. A dead cat. Okay, so I could examine you. Wow, you are really low poly. The last thing I want to hear right now is a chainsaw. Wow, those sounds. It really sounds like there's something, like, in the vent with me. Okay, I'm just gonna keep moving. Yeah, something tells me I have to run here. No! Ow. Oh, I still have health. I don't feel like reloading. I have a couple of these things to... Oh, no, I really don't. Do I have any left? No, I don't have any left. That was my last syringe. What? Okay, hopefully I can get some more soon. Oh, looks like I might have popped that flare prematurely. A little premature-like. I'm gonna save again, even though I likely shouldn't. That really cost me an unnecessary one, but it sounded... It really sounded like I had to run from whatever that was, and I didn't want to find out what it was, and... Come on, get me down. And I really didn't want to find out what it was, and... It was right on my heels, and I didn't feel like I had time to drop the flare. I just didn't. So I was just, even though I didn't mean to jump down, I was like spamming E on the ladder, hoping I could switch away from the flare. But it didn't happen. Alright, let's press a U. And what just opened? Okay, the gates on that side just opened. Can I get onto the train now? I would really, really love to start playing Train Simulator. Boop. Oh, I can't boop you, you're not a button. I knew it would pull one of those at some point. 
I absolutely knew it. You appear to be stopping right there. Can I climb up here and up here? Yes, I can, and I can get into a vent. <sighs> Unfortunately, it seems like now I'm going to have to pop another flare. Convenient. It's being very generous with the flares, which kind of leads me to believe that it's going to have me doing this for a while yet. Which sucks, because I do not like this. Okay. Looks like we're going to be uh, putting our shimmy skills to the test. Which this engine is not really conducive to. That flare is doing some very wonky things with its physics. I don't like that I can't look around while on this ladder. Don't like that at all. It makes me think you're going to do something at the top of this ladder. Because you haven't done it yet. And it, when you haven't done it yet, it makes me think you're going to do it soon. Just like with the train. I was amazed at how close I actually cut it with that train. <laughs> Oh my god, this is probably the most times I've been jump scared in an episode yet, so bravo, Cry of Fear. Bravo. I can't carry any more syringes. Okay. Very notably, these are not syringes. But, if you're giving me free ones... I wish it was a syringe. I kind of got my hopes up there for a second, because I'm in dire need of those. Okay, you're going to make me run from another train, ain't ya? Yep! How did I know? How did I know? Yep. It just seemed like one of those things. And then you're going to stop right there. The subway itself is trying to kill me. This isn't even the regular train schedules. The subway itself is attempting to just end my life. Whew. I'm kind of hoping we're nearing the end here. Because I've about had it with this section. So apparently I'm supposed to follow him. I don't think I'll be able to be very inconspicuous with that. Yet, yeah, see, what is it with you and decapitation and facial mutilation? Doesn't look like he was one of those things. How can you tell? I mean, aside from the mangled head, well, actually, he appears to be the same model as the guy that I got the shotgun from. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? This is clearly a different station. There's a lot of different ways I can go right now. I need to place a fuse here in order to unlock the door. He must have locked it. Why is he doing this? Okay, so this is the way that I have to go. How far in are we? There's a key and a battery lying on the ground. I better take it. Is that a battery for my phone? A battery for my phone. Hope it's charged. Okay, combine with phone. And we are back in the phone business. And I got the Ronald Street key. As well as... Well, as well as rifle rounds. And BP-70 rounds. And a syringe. Okay. Um, so there's no inventory system that I'm aware of. I'm going to come up here and drop the flares. Presumably I'm not going to need... Presumably I'm not going to need them for the rest of the game, or at least not for some time. I have to drop them individually. I don't know why I have to drop them individually. And then I'll grab the syringe. That's far more of a pressing need. And we'll save. I am 42 minutes into recording. I'm going up the down escalator. As you can do in an abandoned city. Or, if I call it abandoned, is that like racist against monsters or something? 
Is that monster erasure? Okay, so we can't go down here. So our our paths are not nearly as open-ended as I at first believed. There's another one of those bed boys. You are a job for the BP-70. Rap. 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 Bad place to set up your bed. Oop, out of ammo. Hang on. Eboop. 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 Uh, excuse me, I said boot. I think, I think the, I think the bars on the bed are actually blocking most of my shots. Okay, so that was a lot of my VP70 ammo. But there's got to be something useful over here, right? Door is locked. See, there's two different things. There's the door is locked and the door won't budge, as seen there. When the door is locked, that means that presumably you can unlock it somehow. I did get a key, so I'm going to go back and try that. It actually said... What does it say? It says Ronald Street key. Haven't I already been on Ronald Street? Or was I trying to get to Ronald Street? Well, in any case, we can come above ground here. It's starting to snow again from the looks of it. That looks like the kind of door that chainsaw people live behind. So I'm going to go back and try the key on that one door. Okay, we're doing interesting new things with the soundtrack that I'm not hugely reassured by, but it says the door is locked. Can I use it here? No, so that key is not used here. Alright, looks like I'm going back up. Let's head on up these here stairs, back onto the streets, the main streets. Door won't budge, which means I have to go down the suspicious way, which is always fun. Before I move forward, I'm going to go ahead and rebind my phone to slot 2. <laughs> this is why we have a light. God, I am so jumpy. The scares had kind of died down for me. Uh, hello. Thank you. And now I can use the light again. Excellent. Yep. Yep. Don't much care about you guys anymore. Ow. I had forgotten about the back and forth of the melee system. But yeah, as I was saying, the scare factor had really started to die down in the previous parts, but this one... Ever since that school, it's just really got me on edge. Can I go through here? Yes, I can. However, I have not yet searched the rest of that alley. Which I'm gonna need to do. So, let's take inventory, right? What am I in need of? I'm missing my rifle. I would love to get back to that. I still have about ten rounds for it. Although I probably lost five in the one that I dropped. I shouldn't have reloaded that thing. Or I think I reloaded it. I'm low on syringes. And of course I could always use more ammo. I only have the one syringe right now. This is a long way to let me go for being able to open that door. Ah, more of you. Well, that's really annoying. I've said before, I really don't like these enemies because they're not very fun to fight. There's not really good gunplay mechanics. All the way back here, no, that can't be right. That's not right. 2155, yeah. Okay, that looks more correct. Okay, and I've already picked up the syringe. Alright. Alright, I'm not even going to bother with you guys this time, knowing that I can just sprint past you. I'll probably have to deal with you on the way back, but in the meantime, I'm just going to go. Aided by the up escalator. Thank you, up escalator. You're very helpful. And what I've learned is that when you have to run, don't use your sprint completely. Because if you use up your sprint completely, you'll be out of breath and winded and very, very slow. But if you don't run out completely you'll still be able to at least use your regular walk speed. It's gonna be you. No? Where's that lady? It 
didn't... It didn't bring back any of the enemies. Is that a bug? You're back, but you're in a different spot. Are the enemies persistent even when I reload a save? If so, that's really odd. Or is it potentially a bug? I don't know. That's really, really odd, though. It doesn't seem to be... Oh, I can go through the bus. Okay. It's the M16. You know, out of my way. This is mine. Get your own. The M16. And I've been collecting ammo for it earlier. There's a save point right there. M16 mag with 20 rounds. What are you? <laughs> Did you throw that guy through the window? If so, that's extremely funny. Kudos. Um... Drop the VP-70, I suppose. And pick up the M16 assault rifle. Can I actually kill you? I mean, presumably I have to, right? Right? Okay, you're coming towards me. Okay, I killed you, but what did that do for me? I still have a few mags for it. Okay, I'm gonna save after that, but I may reload. I may come back if I was just wasting ammo on that guy. Like, if maybe if that other door comes around to here, maybe then I'll do it. Maybe then I won't reload. Like, I have a feeling that guy could probably, given his size, just lay waste to me if I tried to go with a mano a mano. So maybe that's why I was supposed to go that way and deal with them first. Oh, there's more of you. Adam low on ammo. Okay, hang on, wait. Nope, back up, back up, back up. Okay, I can easily doge around them if need be. I don't like these giants. And I don't have so much ammo left either. Okay, it looks like... No, this isn't the other area with the bus. Is this the park again? No, it's a different park. Okay, no. The M16 is for you. Lo using up all my ammo already. No, guys. Yeah, you, you guys damage each other. I'll, uh... Oh, there's another one, too. Maybe I'm not supposed to... Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to be using my ammo on these guys. Maybe I'm just supposed to leg it. I can pretty handily dodge all of you. Yep, okay, no, move, screw it. I'm, I'm not wasting any more ammo. I've wasted a lot already. I've already wasted, like, four M16 magazines. You guys are doing more damage to each other at this point. Oh, but I have to break the doors. I have to break the boards on that door. Okay, so at the very least, I have to deal with these guys. Which the M16 can handily do. At least one of you was already pretty damaged. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. That was not the right answer. Okay, I need to kite you guys around. I'm actually thinking perhaps maybe I should go back for the VP-70. Uh, but I don't know if I'm going to find another M16. That's the problem. All right, I'll deal with you with one of these. Ow. And then if I can kite you guys... I don't think this is hitting it. Okay, if I can kite you guys down here. Oh god, are they going to take opposite sides of the bench? Because that really throws a wrench in my plans, but that's what they're going to do. No. But I can break down that door. Alright, I'm going to sprint to the other side. I want to open up as many areas as possible, so I'm going to open up that other door as well. I'm going to want to check both of these, even though they may go to the same areas. I shouldn't have wasted so much ammo on these giants. A spade. Are there places I can dig here? Maybe there will be places I can dig beyond that area. Okay, I really need to work out what's going on with my inventory right now. And it looks like that one over there has just kind of lost the plot entirely. Alright, I'm going to run past you. 
I'm gonna go put down the M16 and pick up the uh, VP70. Ah! Oh god, yeesh. They knew I was gonna do it. Alright, I'll probably take care of them with the pistol or the VP70. We'll see what happens. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave that M16 right where I found it and hope that I can come back for it later. Drop you here. Sorry, M16. I hardly knew ye. Alright, so when we come around here... Yeah, I suppose I'll use the VP-70 to deal with those guys. Or should I use the pistol? I'm trying to weigh right now what would... Oh, I'm not coming this way. Not while this guy's doing his thing. Unless I can maybe jank around him. Full juke. Juke. Okay, so I can do it. There is enough room. Grab some rifle ammo and some VP-70 rounds. Okay, very good, very good. And now I'm gonna run, 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 run down here. And see if I can't break that last board and get out of here finally. I still can't pick up the spade because... I guess I'll have to go back for it. Now, does it lead to the same place? Is this... this wait. Is this the same park from before? This is already dug up. This is the same park from before. We have pulled a backtrack arena, but what am I supposed to be doing exactly? Do I need another fuse, perhaps? It used up the screwdriver. I don't think I dropped the screwdriver. I think I used it up when I pulled it off the wall. I was thinking for a moment that I might have to go inside the apartments and get one. Now, though... Now I'm curious just how persistent this game is. If I go back to where I dropped the, uh... If I go back to where I dropped the spade originally, will it still be there? Will that one still exist? No, it doesn't look like it. Or at least I think I dropped the spade here. But in the meanwhile, if I remember rightly... I can come through here and get a save point, so I'm going to go ahead and just do that quickly. This actually goes back and gives me access to a lot of the rest of the map. Oop. And it's spawning new enemies! How unpleasurable. Ah, there's nowhere I can go. And there's a gun boy right over there. I just take aim and... Boop. I must be supposed to come this way. If it's spawning new enemies in my path, unless it does just repopulate the map at certain points. In any case, I have to go back to the giants and see what I can do. So let's save or get again. I have to go back to the giants and see what's behind that other door, because I do need all the resources I can get. Oh, we're at 56 minutes, so we're kind of cutting it close here. I can go a little bit longer if need be, because I'm probably going to be recording for a little while anyway, because I'm pretty into this right now. And it would be a shame to end the recording ses session uh, too early. Alright. Look, giant scared me. He was hiding in the corner there. Alright. If I may ha Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if I may have the attention of the class. Alright. You're chasing me now. I have broken my own rule and allowed myself to reach minimum stamina. This is actually open all the way. I guess I never went... Or did I go through it? Oh no, it does come back to the same park. It's just different sides. It was just hidden behind the crate. Okay. I'm going to go and check that apartment again. Just to see if there's anything new over there. Her body is still there. And it looks like there's something else on the ground. Oh, that might just be debris. I'm going to go back into this apartment. I want to see what's going on here. Is there anything new that I should be aware of? Because I... I can't imagine they would have me come all the way back here and have nothing new, right? Like, there's got to be a reason. I'm not going to go all the way up onto the rooftops. I'm not that dedicated. 
And there's the save point that, uh, as you guys pointed out in the in like two videos ago, I was trying to do, I was trying to look for a save point, and I was walking around that apartment going like, man, it hasn't given me a save point in so long. Sorry guys, hang on, I'll be right back when I've gone all the way back to the park and found a save point. It was right there. I looked at it several times during the video. Very embarrassing. But anyway, now we do have to start backtracking. I'm not really... I thought I saw something on the ground. The way the objects on the ground are lit is kind of weird. Sometimes you need to be looking directly at them in order for them to be fully lit. I need to be a little more cautious with health right now because I think I only have the one syringe. And I'm not super duper low on health. Just regular super low on health. There's another one of you. Nailed that shot, if I do say so myself. Pick up another magazine. I'm doing pretty okay on ammo right now. Boop, boop. I said boop. Wow, I have no health left. That did a lot of damage. Alright, now I do have to use my final syringe. And I love how you can see now that uh, on Simon's wrist there are cuts. This game really does run uh, very, very heavy with the depression themes. I can still walk back here. I don't know yet if I'm supposed to. That's the thing. So I'm going to head this way. I'm assuming I can't run out of uh, phone battery during regular gameplay. I'm going to assume that was only for story purposes because I had just reached the, uh, the point where I was supposed to be using flares. Did you guys hear that? I could have sworn I just heard like a short breath behind me. There you are. Ah, you just damaged me. What are you doing? What was that about? I didn't even really get a good look at that enemy. At first, it looked like one of the gun guys, but... I don't think I was able to come down this way earlier. There you are again! What am I supposed to do? No, let me out. Let me out. What am I supposed to do with this guy? He was doing damage. I don't know what I have to... I really can't afford to be losing health right now. Okay, so at a certain point, you just kind of bloop out. I can't be doing this right now. Okay, there's a couple of ways I can go. I don't have... Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What is it with this part of the game? What are you? <laughs> that was out of nowhere. I should have done the face cam. I should have done the face cam. I should have done the face cam. Wow, wait, I've been here before. This is where, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make another save. I hope I didn't just accidentally overwrite the first save, because I've lost some health since then. In case it's repopulated the area with the gun boys, I'm going to switch to my Pistorino. Nope, just Michael Myers. Okay, I can take you guys piecemeal. Right. Yep. Ow! It'd be really, really nice if it would start uh, sending me health. Alright, so it's bringing... Why are you taking so long to kill? So clearly I'm supposed to be coming this way, right? Because it's spawning all these new enemies. I think that was a hit. Yep. Okay. Saved some ammo on you. Everything I lost on the previous guy. I have the Ronald Street key, which I think this is Ronald Street. I now have very little health, and no means of healing myself. I will happily take your ammo. I can still enter there. It's being really stingy with the health right now. I mean, I'd have more if I hadn't fallen down that shaft before. 
Oh, I see. I have to take the fuse from here. I really hope they're stackable. Only because it says retrieve two fuses to Hanson Square. One is located in Saxon Avenue. So that's why it's allowing me to backtrack like this. Does that mean that the other one is back where the other one is? My health situation is precarious. That's what I'm trying to say. But some neat soundtrack that's going on right now. I'm back in the building of horrors, so I really hope it doesn't have any more horrors for me. Alright, I'm going to be going back through the park because I have a feeling that I'm not supposed to be backtracking as heavily as I can be, as I have been. In fact, I'm almost starting to wonder if maybe there's not some place I can dig up around here where I can find a fuse. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's... Yeah. That was a really bad position for me to be in right there. As is this. And why is there just like a speck of light right here? See, what I'm trying to do right now is find... Stop messaging me on Steam, whoever's messaging me on Steam. I'm trying to figure out where this other fuse is. I had to go back to the subway, pull that out, so that door is now locked for good. But where do I get the other fuse? There must be something that I'm missing around here. I'm starting to get real annoyed with these pens on the ground masquerading as syringes. I have to imagine that it has something to do with the Ronald Street key. A key with the tag, Ronald Street. Now, does that open like a key that goes up there from the subway? I don't know. I've encountered plenty of locked doors that I couldn't open. It doesn't seem like you can open all of them. Up escalator, guide me. Alright, well as I hide in my safety M16 bus, I remain very, very confused. And even though I'm going to keep recording for right now, I'm going to end it here. Uh, so that should be part four of Cry of Fear. And uh, thank you for watching, and be sure to join me in part five.